not ourselves become God simply to seem worthy of it. Hey, what's up guys, it's BK. So we're out here at Tuna Revo, another video of the series. So this video is gonna be out here with the S2K. So Evasive Motorsports, about a year ago or so, maybe two years ago, they started this build. It's a full-on Voltex white body kit. I think it's like around 15K or so. I'll leave in the description. Considering the kit, it's <laughs> at least, uh, that's not considering paint, labor to install, blah, blah, blah. But it's a crazy setup, they actually, Evasive Motorsports actually ran this car in Global Time Attack with Dai Yashiharu. This thing's ridiculous, it's amazing. You know, I, I wish I knew everything about this car, but I don't, but I will point out some things that I do. And and if you guys are interested in more, I bet Dai Yashiharu has a more in-depth video with this car, with opening the hood. Since the car is here alone, there's no one around here, might as well take the opportunity and take advantage of this time alone with this car really appreciate it There's so many things to it that it's just it's crazy <laughs> so the first thing off the bat is you it has the voltex bumper and then on top of that it has this crazy splitter that extends at least five inches further than the bumper itself and the bumper itself i know is longer than the oem lip so yeah so just just imagine it's i i want to say i don't want to i don't want to put a, a, a I don't want to put a definite number, but I'm saying it's about like eight inches extended compared to what it is OEM. With having so much aggressive aero, it also is pushing the power. It's rocking a itch kit, supercharger kit. I don't know the exact amount of horsepower, but I want to say it's around 600, 500, if I recall right. The car did compete in Global Time Attack, so the car is a race car. It's not just a show car, it's a full on race car. But being evasive, evasive always does top quality work. They made sure to make it look like a car show. Especially with those carbon cap headlights, it just makes it look hella mean. You know it's a race car when it doesn't have headlights. <laughs> so just the bumper, splitter, and loud intercooler is matted aggressive. Voltex as well made this crazy hood. The hood has like, I don't know, <laughs> I want to say at least 20, 25 vents on it just to help out with all that hot air to come out and kind of helps out with the flow of it. So if you move forward from all the carbon bits, all the fiberglass, all the wide fenders, Evasive, they did a crazy setup with the exhaust outlet right here on the fender. Header sits on the passenger side, so it's literally just shooting straight out through here through the vendor vent. And it's one thing to see a car in pictures and even right now when you watch it through the video, honestly, it doesn't justify the crazy setup that it has. Like, So just to give you guys a reference, the door is there. The side skirt splitter is about like seven inches wider than the OEM door. It's just crazy how much grip this car probably has. Talking about grip, it's rocking the Yokohama straight up track tires and stop techs for braking power. These things are massive boys. Like it's rocking two piece rotors with stop tech as the braking power. There's pretty good clearance for the brakes compared to the rims. Thought it was a little tighter, but it's not that bad. It's hella nice. When it comes to interior, I, I really don't know much. I really don't know anything at all, but it's just hella sick. I just want to give a moment, allow you guys to appreciate this, all the interior pieces, all the engineering design they went into this. It's just fully nice. Now, I'm not gonna say I know much about interior because I really don't, I don't know nothing about race cars at all actually. But this thing is just beautiful in here. The inside alone is just a mastercraft of so much bits. Nice little details, got that little spoon, spoon cover on that. And everyone knows the S2000 looks better with the hard top. We're rocking a Mugen carbon hard top. And then when you guys were looking inside, you guys probably saw the chassis mounted wing.
but yeah guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video just some raw content out here walking around appreciating evasive motorsports and their Voltex wide body kit s1000 crazy machine all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this video out here at tuner revo with the vase and motorsports voltex s1000 boys all right guys catch you guys next time if you guys really like these type of videos make sure to subscribe really appreciate it if you give a second a thumbs up too all right boys